What is Bitcoin mining? Chances are you hear the phrase Bitcoin mining and your mind begins to wander to the western fantasy of pickaxes, dirt and striking it rich. As it turns out, that analogy isn't too far off. Bitcoin mining is performed by high-powered computers that solve complex computational math problems. These problems are so complex that they cannot be solved by hand and are complicated enough to tax even incredibly powerful computers. Key takeaways Bitcoin mining is the process of creating new Bitcoin by solving a computational puzzle. Bitcoin mining is necessary to maintain the ledger of transactions upon which Bitcoin is based. Miners have become very sophisticated over the last several years using complex machinery to speed up mining operations. This tutorial has been designed to help beginners pursuing knowledge in cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. Any enthusiastic follower with basic knowledge of what is happening around the globe can comprehend this tutorial. After completing this tutorial, you will find yourself at a moderate level of expertise from where you can take yourself to next levels. The result of Bitcoin mining is twofold. First, when computers solve these complex math problems on the Bitcoin network, they produce new Bitcoin, not unlike when a mining operation extracts gold from the ground. And second, by solving computational math problems, Bitcoin miners make the Bitcoin payment network trustworthy and secure by verifying its transaction information. When someone sends Bitcoin anywhere, it's called a transaction. Transactions made in-store or online are documented by banks, point-of-sale systems, and physical receipts. Bitcoin miners achieve the same thing by clumping transactions together in blocks and adding them to a public record called the blockchain. Nodes then maintain records of those blocks so that they can be verified into the future. When Bitcoin miners add a new block of transactions to the blockchain, part of their job is to make sure that those transactions are accurate. In particular, Bitcoin miners make sure that Bitcoin is not being duplicated, a unique quirk of digital currencies called double spending. With printed currencies, counterfeiting is always an issue. But generally, once you spend $20 at the store, that bill is in the clerk's hands. With digital currency, however, it's a different story. Digital information can be reproduced relatively easily, so with Bitcoin and other digital currencies, there is a risk that a spender can make a copy of their Bitcoin and send it to another party while still holding on to the original. Rewarding Bitcoin miners with as many as 300,000 purchases and sales occurring in a single day, verifying each of those transactions can be a lot of work for miners. Two, as compensation for their efforts, miners are awarded Bitcoin whenever they add a new block of transactions to the blockchain. The amount of new Bitcoin released with each mined block is called the block reward. The block reward is halved every 210,000 blocks, or roughly every four years. In 2009, it was 50. In 2013, it was 25. In 2018 it was 12.5. And in May of 2020, it was halved to 6.25. Bitcoin successfully halved its mining reward, from 12.5 to 6.25 for the third time on May 11, 2020. This system will continue until around 2140. At that point, Miners will be rewarded with fees for processing transactions that network users will pay. These fees ensure that miners still have the incentive to mine and keep the network going. The idea is that competition for these fees will cause them to remain low after halvings are finished. These halvings reduce the rate at which new coins are created and, thus, lower the available supply. This can cause some implications for investors, as other assets with low supply, like gold can have high demand and push prices higher. At this rate of halving, the total number of Bitcoin in circulation will reach a limit of 21 million, making the currency entirely finite and potentially more valuable over time. Verifying Bitcoin transactions In order for Bitcoin miners to actually earn Bitcoin from verifying transactions, two things have to occur. First, they must verify 1 megabyte MB, worth of transactions, which can theoretically be as small as one transaction but are more often several thousand, depending on how much data each transaction stores. Second, in order to add a block of transactions to the blockchain, miners must solve a complex computational math problem, also called a proof of work. 
what they're actually doing is trying to come up with a 64-digit hexadecimal number, called a hash, that is less than or equal to the target hash. Basically, a miner's computer spits out hashes at different rates, mega hashes per second, mh slash s, giga hashes per second, gh slash s, or tera hashes per second, th slash s, depending on the unit guessing all possible 64-digit numbers until they arrive at a solution. In other words, it's a gamble. The difficulty level of the most recent block as of August 2020 is more than 16 trillion. That is, the chance of a computer producing a hash below the target is 1 in 16 trillion. To put that in perspective, you are about 44,500 times more likely to win the Powerball jackpot with a single lottery ticket than you are to pick the correct hash on a single try. Fortunately, mining computer systems spit out many hash possibilities. Nonetheless, mining for Bitcoin requires massive amounts of energy and sophisticated computing operations. The difficulty level is adjusted every 2016 blocks, or roughly every two weeks. With the goal of keeping rates of mining constant, the more miners there are competing for a solution, the more difficult the problem will become. The opposite is also true. If computational power is taken off of the network, the difficulty adjusts downward to make mining easier. For more questions on Bitcoin or other cryptocurrency leave them in the comment box below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Also. Subscribe to LearnCity for more educational content.